Welcome to Mind, Body and Soul. I am your host, John Morris, and welcome to you wherever you are in the world today. I hope you're doing great. Many people talk about the secrets of money and of wealth without ever really knowing the meanings behind what they are saying. Many coaches and so-called gurus talk about money as if it were some mystical god or divine being. Money is nothing more than a tool, a means of exchange. For one service to another, the more money you have, the more service you are being. Many of you who are listening to this say to yourselves that money is not important. Oh, but it is. Money, if it is used wisely, has the ability to shield you from the rain. Pay for your warmth and food. Put your children through school or university. Pay for a life-saving operation and so much more. Never say that money is not important. It is of vital importance. Money is not evil either. Many of you may believe that money is the root of all evil. And in doing so, you silently condemn money and as such cause it to flee away from you. Money is not evil. How could it be? It is an inanimate object capable of nothing by itself. How it's used and who it's used by is what you have unrest about. Money is like fire. It can burn. It can be used to warm the house or burn it to the ground. Money is also like water. It can be used to quench thirst or drown the individual. How we use money, like fire and water, is of vital importance. But what is even more important is how we use our mind. Whatever we condemn we cause to take wings and fly away from us. Many have not, because they think not. If you say that you do not have enough money, then you will never have enough money. If you say that you have money flowing to you in abundance, then you will have money flowing to you in abundance. I know, I have been on both sides of this coin. How we use our mind creates almost exactly what we are thinking about. What we speak into existence will come into existence. The final lesson I want to leave you with today is this. When you ask for money and send the great I am presence forth, never, I repeat never, question how money and wealth will come to you. Just simply allow it to and accept it and be thankful and grateful. When you question and place parameters on how God, the Divine Spirit, the Great I Am is to work, you are displaying distrust in the Divine Spirit and as a result will cause wealth to stop flowing towards you. Allow it to flow to you in whatever way it may, whether it may be, as for me, in the manner of art, mentoring, or my books, or even in some abstract way, by illustrations, music, or producing. Money is important, but know this, your mind is even more important. And even greater than your mind is the knowledge that everything you do has an amazing part to play in your overall story. Namaste, my friend. God bless.